Hey, what's up guys? It's Joey here with Valiant Lahesia and as I started recording, I can hear the raindrops falling. Oh, we got a kind of gray and overcast day today as you can see. Sun is behind me, but you can't really see it because of the clouds. Um, just out here for my morning walk. And oh man, talk about having a case of the Mondays. I just took me a little bit to get it going this morning. I don't know if I've mentioned this in dreams before, but sometimes I feel like I don't even know what to call these dreams, but dreams where I'm aware that I'm dreaming and in a sense almost organizing and dictating uh, my dreams to how I want them to be or manipulating them in a sense of like the outcomes that I want in my dreams. I always feel when I have nights like that, I wake up just drained because my brain never stopped. Like I'm asleep, but not fully. Whether it's, you know, subconsciously, um, you know, I'm dreaming, but consciously I'm still kind of partially awake. I just feel drained. And I think that's what what happened to me last night, I can, rem I don't really remember my dreams exactly, but I know I was aware that I was dreaming and within the dream, I was planning the dream um, and setting it up for the way I wanted the dream to go. Um, which I guess should be something I try to do in life as to, you know, when I make choices and when I make decisions and how I set up my life according to the ways uh, that I envisioned it. So maybe that's kind of what my dream was trying to tell me is like, spend your waking hours organizing your dream or your life in the direction you want it to go. Just like you spend your sleeping hours organizing your dreams in a direction they want them to go. And I don't always dream that way. There's times where it's like I am deep, full REM sleep and, you know, wake up feeling refreshed. But this morning, like I said, it took me a minute to get going. Um, and it's supposed to rain, and of course, here, here's the rain starting. We're supposed to actually get, I think, an inch of snow tomorrow, um, which, you know, doesn't surprise me. But, yeah, I mean, we're halfway through April, um, and I'm still in a hoodie. Oh, speaking of hoodies, check this out. Got my uh, Valiant Liege hoodie. Bah! So this is just one of the first uh, designs I plan to uh, get more going. I will uh, put a link in the description if you want to help support the channel, support the uh, Valiant Liege way of life. Um, it's on my Teespring. I'll put a link in the description. Really, really nice. I'm all about soft fabrics. I don't know what it is. Ooh, white crane. Sorry, I'm like, squirrel! But no, look at this beautiful white crane. Do you see it? It's being chased by like a blackbird. There it goes. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. Awesome. I don't know, there's something just symbolic and beautiful about, I think that might have been, uh, I don't know, what's the difference, the, the difference between an egret, a heron, um, a crane, <laughs> it's almost kind of like a fiddle and a violin, they're the same damn thing, uh, but I think the only difference really is one flies with its neck bent and the other one does it, I think that one was uh, maybe a a great white egret. It did look like it had its, had its neck bent. Um, but anyways, I digress. Um, but yeah, this hoodie and soft fabrics, I don't know. I just, I just enjoy soft fabric and, and soft materials um, on my person, on my skin, um, my comforter. I freaking love that thing. I always joke. I'm like, bury me in my comforter. I freaking, I love that thing. It's so soft. Um, but it's just, you know, funny because I, when I'm out here in nature, you know, I'm out here amongst trees, which are hard, you know, and, and stone and rocks and patches of just rough dirt. But when I'm, you know, at home and in my leisure, I, I, I like, you know, comfort, and soft fabric and soft materials. And I was thinking about trees the other day where it's like trees don't have to act hard to be hard. You know, they're just hard. But to me, they're also 
once they get blooming, they, they look soft as well. Um, and yeah, there's just so many different qualities and attributes of a tree that I never truly noticed until now that I spend time outdoors. You know, you do see the, the hardness of it in the winter, but come spring and the, the blooms and there's a softness to it as well. And it's just like, yeah, be that, be a tree. You don't have to act hard to be hard, but you're also soft and you're just, I don't know, just a beauty to the tree. Um, and so that's kind of, yeah, just be, be a tree <laughs> is what I tell myself. But, um, oh yeah, back to, uh, today I'm filming with my old rig. Um, I've been digging the GoPro. Uh, I got the Hero GoPro 9. Um, the only thing is, man, the, the upload has been a pain in the dick, pardon my French. It took me probably a full day to download the video for the shopping cart adventure. Um, for some reason, when I was trying to use the app to upload it, they kept on getting disconnected. So I had to go in through the laptop. And so that's a, my, that was my one concern when getting the GoPro is, yes, I would film awesome videos and do action videos, but the uploading. Like I love with this, I can just record as soon as I'm done, upload and call it a day. So I think depending on what uh, I'm recording, I might switch it up uh, this morning, just kind of feeling a chill vibe. So I'm using uh, the OG camera. Uh, but no, it's been fun learning the GoPro and just kind of seeing all the cool things I can do with it. But anyways, I'm uh, gonna wrap it up here. Um, hope you guys have a great start to your week. Um, keep it moving. Uh, and we'll talk again soon. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll put a link for the Teespring. Um, hope you guys dig it. I know it's simple, but I dig it. Um, hopefully, moving forward, get some more designs up on the Teespring shop. Um, and just leave a comment. Say hello. Uh, you know. Anyways, you know how we do. Take care.